The great debt debate rages on tonight in Washington, D.C., as congressional leaders and President Barack Obama have once again failed to reach a deal on how to remedy America's fiscal crisis. And with the threat of the U.S. defaulting on loans, some lawmakers think it's time for a balanced budget amendment. First, it's time to cut government spending and change the way that Washington, D.C. spends taxpayer dollars. Secondly, it's time to cap discretionary spending. Third, we must pass a balanced budget. This amendment to the United States Constitution is the best way to discipline government officials. You get that balanced budget amendment, which is really the basis of that, you get that going forward, the debt will come down. And when we fail to move in the direction of balancing that budget, it means that there's going to be greater inflation, higher interest rates, uncertainty in the economy, and businesses are going to continue to retrench. It's about whether or not America is going to have a bright future and whether or not our citizens are going to be able to find employment because of a growing economy. Uh, we also believe there's an additional component of that plan that we would add to that, cut, cap, balance, and grow. And by grow, we mean putting people to work. Uh, and that involves uh, significant changes uh, in the regulatory environment, a tax code that is fair and certain. The revenue increases we need are not tax increases, but increased revenues that come from a growing economy. A growing economy would do more than any tax increase. Yeah, hiking taxes in this environment is suicidal. It really is. And it's not, it's not a policy that's steeped in economics, but rather ideology. Democrats are determined to hit the wealthy in part by changing taxes on such things as boats and corporate jets. The owners of yachts and jets don't need special tax breaks. This doesn't punish the owners of aircraft. It punishes the people who work every day to make an airplane. Now is not the time to penalize a U.S. industry that produces the best quality air airplanes in the world. It'll hurt blue collar America at exactly the wrong time. Nearly every manufacturer has had to cut jobs, some up to 50% of their workforce. And yet the proposal is it to make it more expensive to own an aircraft. Congress has already been down this road back in the 1990s. They passed a luxury tax and then watched as all the workers in the luxury industry in the U.S. lost their jobs. The U.S. spent more money on unemployment insurance for the people that lost their jobs than it raised in revenue. And because of that, Congress repealed it. We're not protecting corporate jet earners. What we're really doing is protecting the entire country. Nothing here is unreasonable. Cut spending, cap the percentage of spending to GDP, and pass a balanced budget amendment. When did it become ra radical or even irresponsible to live within our means? Our government is not on the verge of financial meltdown because Republicans won't vote to raise the debt ceiling. We are at the point of financial collapse because Republicans and Democrats have spent money we don't have for way too long. We must use the leverage that raising the debt ceiling it now presents to force elected officials to do something they otherwise would not do, curb spending, grow the economy, and balance the budget.